We're here in Novogorets and this is my this is my buddy Blaš and he's going to explain me why this town in Slovenia is so unique, it's so special, it's one of the socialist cities and Blaš is an expert on Novogorica and he's going to tell us everything about this town. We started to build it after the Second World War. Yeah. So this is actually Nova Gorica, it means Nova, new, Gorica, Gorica is a town in Italy, Gorica, Gorica is actually a Slavic name for a small hill with a vineyard, or like Graz, it's also Gradec, a castle, so you have two big towns out of today's Slovenia, that is actually a Slavic name, which means that actually in days, centuries before, were in a way settled by Slavs. So when they changed the border, which they, they settled the border with how much population and villages live somewhere. And the railway, as you see here, the crucial part. So in one moment they decided that they would cut and that this part would become Yugoslavia, the other part there, Italy. So this whole region was left without a center. So what can you do? You just, pull, you just take a city that exists, so can I was China, uh, and make it a new administration center of the region. But then you lose the ideological moment. What is it? Because we lost Gorica, the idea of Yugoslavia was let's make build a new one. That means that uh, Nova Gorica is not uh, like other modernist towns, new towns that are actually built for industry. Uh, like the most common, like most popular, like is Nova Huta in Krakow, that is like a really piece of art in the same way. That the, the main road leads to the factory. So Nova Gorica was not built just as an industrial town, but as an administrative town, and not just this, it was built as a new town instead of the old town that we left. That's why it's Nova Gorica. That was it was a big ideological impact to build a town that be big, beautiful, proud, that will be built something that will shine over the border. What is written here on that monument? What was uh, what uh, uh, Edward Traulicker, the urbanist planner, uh, wrote? What he was thinking of back in the 1983? What we should build? Now we we wanted to build, but we didn't. Mm -hmm. So this is now the irony of the Gorica going on, because this that it was the first Yugoslavian planned town. So this was the idea of the. Uh, this would be really something important it would be a socialist display window to the West. The idea was, was planned to last a cup of tea, like directly, like a cup in a hotel, that in five years they will build, be, build a city of, for 10,000 people. After 10 years, there not even 5,000 people living here. Why? Because there was no funding anymore from the state. Not any from Bel uh, Belgrade, and even not from Ljubljana, and then this became a local plan. And this is why this city was not built as it wanted to be. But it's this way, and this is what I want to show, is that actually was built in an ironical way better. Yes, this is what should be done, but was not. So what was done was this here. This, you see the entrance is the municipality. Mm -hmm. And these three blocks and here three and four more. As you see, it should be in a way symmetrical. And this is all on this CM architecture, Le Courboisier as the main architect, that also Edward Traunica, the architect, was in his bureau for a couple of months mm -hmm. to learn the idea of what is modernism and this. And actually, this is one of the first ironies, second or fourth irony already, that the socialist display window to the West was actually a Western idea of modernism <laughs> that was appropriated by socialists to do is better. What was good in so what was uh, this modernism so liked by communist state because actually it was the idea of rationali rationality, rationalism of building. So building fast for a lot of people. So actually as you see here the idea was so uh, big uh, buildings and a lot of green. But also what happened with the green here was not something that Edward Raunikar planned. And so actually we see now this part, this is the main street, is here, and we go this here and back. And then we see what was meant and what uh, it's today. 
so 15 of September is when the border was set. So this is one birthday of Novogorica. The other birthday of Novogorica is 13 of June, 48, when they put the fundamental, fundament stone for the first building. So, <clears throat> uh, what means this two? Uh, at first 20, 40 years, they were uh, uh, celebrating 48. Now they're celebrating 47. So what's the difference? Actually, I think more that should be 47, the date, because Novogorica's idea, let's build something new. It's not the realization, but the idea of doing a new town. Something so uh, ambitious in a way that today, nowadays, nobody has idea of building new towns. They're just building a new shopping mall. That's all they built, actually. No? And actually, so uh, it means that 3rd of December, the youth brigades came. And so in 13th of June, in half a year already, they already presented, uh, uh, they started to build high rise buildings. That means they didn't build this part, they did the professional workers built. Who lived here? Yeah. So, to have an administration center, you need doctors, teachers, industrial engineers, people that know what to do, and you need a workforce. You need a workforce, actually. <laughs> you need a workforce uh, for uh, that we also all these things will build. So, in a way, it was the they gave uh, uh, built uh, apartments to engineers, doctors, they came in the Wild West at the time, was this really Wild West, you have a cl almost close, semi-closed border, and nothing. You know? And the other side, you arranged uh, this, it was a big furniture company, actually they started one of the biggest in Yugoslavia, Mebla. Uh, there was uh, people, to, and then many others, uh, factories. Uh, so, to have people here, they they organize a lot of buses to bring them in the city and out of the city, but more on the outskirts, like if you go directly here on the mountain and to have really some really, really uh, backward places, it was not efficient actually to take one by one people by bus. They start to move dead people in the city. So the people that were living in really remote villages became citizens. And so this was actually something really, really, uh, human, uh, like to say, social experiment. Because this is what people do not understand what is a street, what is a square, what is this. So it means that they brought pigs, cows, chickens. So chickens ran ar around. You have cows in the bathrooms, in the inside, or pigs inside the bath. Stuff like that, you know. They were pissing around, doing, you know, stuff that you do on the toilet usually. You have all, all these things that were happening here because really they just were moved in other territory, you know. And so and also the apartments here were really big, really like this bourgeois apartment. I don't know how was this possible at the time. So it means that also you have pe uh, families that split two families, shared an apartment. So you had a lot of things that were not really, I don't know how, what was the idea. No, we know what was the idea, but like, what happened was really a little different. So it means that, and also then the problem was that the, uh, the building, the construction was late, there was no money. And then step by step, what we see, this was actually state uh, built. And then what we see, we started to degradate in a way to get also, they got uh, to companies and to private, or private investments to build. And so this is actually now main road. And now after this, we see what happens later in town. This is actually beginning of the fifties.
there in the city because these were the buildings for the workers on the railway station yeah. mm -hmm. so this is beginning of 20th century already you know and then also you see the buildings first they built these six buildings that we passed in the four yeah. and then these street is where they started to build these small some mm -hmm. houses buildings In front of a railway you have a square when people meet, when you come and when you leave and this. So instead of a meeting place, the square was actually cut between two uh, nations and also between two ideologies. And so here was uh, for a long time a big uh, star, red star. And in the beginning was also written Migra Dimo Socialism. We build socialism. This for marketing purposes. Yeah. yeah, but I imagine in Italy millions of people love that sign and the star too. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> and so what happened is I think, to 50, let's say 55, I think 52, something like that, in the beginning of 50s, they actually opened the border. Before that, the border was closed. And the border was open till uh, COVID. Yeah. With COVID, did they close the border after 50, 60 years? It was not so close the border in history. Right. And this is really important to understand what means the Iron Curtain. Iron Curtain was not here, it was on Hungary, Hungary border. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's on the other side. Yeah, absolutely. This was already open, but as you see what means open, this is actually the border that used to be before. You see that green. This is the border. Nothing yeah. bigger. Yeah. And the idea, this is actually a mosaic. Yeah, it's a mosaic. Yeah. They say that it's a mosaic. Of that sign there, of that stone 5750, mm -hmm. this is like the... Uh, Parts of 57, <laughs> 15. Uh, that was this fund of uh, this uh, uh, milestone, not milestone, but border stone that was here in the middle. And if you see there the picture, yep. just at this bit head here, then you see the picture how it looked like before. Uh, it looked like this. It was in the middle. And then in 2004, 1st of May, when Slovenia entered European Union with all the other nine states of Central Europe and Baltic states and Central Europe. So Romano Prodi, the president of the European Commission, came here on 1st of May of 2004 to celebrate entering uh, Slovenia and other nine countries to European Union. Yeah. So also more than that, uh, if you see here, uh, the square is called Europe Square. Come yeah. on the other side. Okay. And the other side has another name. So actually, even the name is not the same. Piazzale della Transalpina is an old name because Transalpina is the name of the railway, Transalps. So, square of the Transalpine mm -hmm. railway. Uh, but then, on the Slovenian side, didn't want to make this old name mm -hmm. to get something new. But Italians are not for this. They didn't want to have the older name. So, in the end, you have... Uh, Slovenia entered Europe uh, <laughs> Italy just got back the old square. Just how how the mindset and mind maps are. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <coughs> yeah, thank you.